Good morning, everyone. Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yee-haw. Season 2 is here, and things have changed, and some things have not changed. Wow, what an intro. It's almost like I didn't write it at all, and I just said the first thing that came to my head. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the biggest changes in Season 2, what we're still looking for, and some odd things that people have noticed. First, let's talk about the rank reset inside Pokemon Unite. Oh, and I should mention really quickly, near the end of this video, I have something that is a little secret a little spoilery i will let you know before it comes up if you want to avoid it but there's a little surprise near the end taking you into the game here one interesting thing to notice of course if you were master rank you are now into veteran i played a couple games so i'm now in veteran class four uh all master rank players went down to veteran three i believe ultra players went down to vet one Veteran players, I think, went into Expert and Expert to the start of Expert. I'm sorry, I don't know the rest of them, but those are what I was hearing as the stream was happening. Let me show you this interesting moment, actually. This is a clip from me on the stream last night, and as you can see, Master Rank had diamonds near it. This is something my chat was noticing. So I don't know if once you get to Master Rank now, you have ranking diamonds like you do in all the other ranks. That will be very interesting to see. Of course, there is a new battle pass, and it's pretty good uh, skin-wise for the characters, I'll say. I think the Charizard skin looks pretty awesome. And then, of course, the final Hollowware, the Venusaur sun Sunshine Style. I'll never be able to say it right for some reason. The Sunshine Style Venusaur looks really, really great. Um, as with all the other battle passes, a lot of kind of uh, eh, stuff in between. That's just my opinion on it. But if you like it, cool. I'm just not super stoked with any of it. Ooh, something I should mention. The ranking system, now it does show a costume reward for your ranks. There was the season one rewards. Uh, right now, if you complete 20 ranked matches and you reach the rank of expert, you get this uh, outfit here. I was about to call it Hollowware. <laughs> Followers for a Pokemon, uh, you get this fashion for your trainer, which I saw in a data mine before, and I speculated that maybe you got that for getting to a high rank, and it looks like that is the case. Still 20,000 tickets for getting to master rank. Let's talk about some interesting things that are gone. So currently, and this doesn't mean that it won't change very, very fast, the daily missions are gone. So I'm wondering if they are waiting until the Halloween event finishes in a couple days here for that to change but right now there are no daily missions there are season ranked missions uh there's a new uh supporter intense battle training section but it's possible they're just waiting until halloween is done before they change that of course as with anything that we don't know it's just a speculation but right now the daily events are gone something else that is gone that is very odd if you head into the energy rewards they have the new amazing hollowware for crustal Stakeout Garchomp is gone from here, and not only is it gone from here, it is not available in the shop at all. My guess is this is an oversight. I don't think this is the case uh, with what they normally do, because if you go to Hollowware Ticket Exchange, I mean, you could still get Pilot Style, you could still get, uh, you know, Barry. Oh, maybe you can't get Barry Snorlax in here. That's interesting. Hmm. Can you not get Barry Snorlax in here either? I didn't notice that. Well, well, well. I wonder what's going on here. So they've pulled a couple Hollowware options from uh, people's ability to get them, which I did not expect that, and they did not announce that anything like that would be happening. I'm, I would just guess that that's an oversight, and you'll be able to get Stakeout-style Garchomp at some point, but honestly, I don't know. Now, of course, one of the other biggest things from this update is we don't have a balance update. Oftentimes they release balance updates. For me, it's Tuesday evening around uh, 5 p.m. at the at the game reset. Sometimes at midnight, depending on when they do it. If they do it at uh, 7 UTC, uh, is I believe the time they usually change things over. So uh, it's possible we won't see things until Wednesday. It's also possible that they don't have a balance update yet. I'm honestly very surprised that we haven't seen a balance update yet because Let's face it, uh, there are some balance changes that would be very, very nice inside this game. I'm going to continue playing, seeing what else I find. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that had been mentioned. Oh, you know, this is something that I thought was very, very odd. I saw this uh, in my 
in my chat. I also saw people on Reddit talking about this. Apparently, you know, something that was said, let me take you back into the game. Apparently something that was said uh, with the season rewards, and I don't know if it's still worded exactly the same way, but uh, it says rewards are given after the season ends based on your highest rank during that season. But I saw people say that they got to ultra rank and then deranked back to veteran. And once the season rewards happened, they only got the 10,000 tickets, meaning the season did not notice that their rank had gotten to ultra. I'm guessing given the verbiage at the top of the screen here that that is also a mistake and we will probably see some type of uh refund for players who were affected by this but i feel like that's really disappointing because they clearly stated it right there that it is the highest rank you achieve during that season if anything is changing i will let you know inside the game i do have one last little thing this is a little spoilery so i'm going to say that right now but there was something noticed in a screenshot i'm going to give you time to not see this if you don't want to i'll give you a moment okay this is from an advertisement uh from pokemon celebrating 25 years a winter wonderland thing and as you can see right there we see an articuno in the middle of that map fighting a greninja meaning that articuno is in the game they are working on it it's possible we will see some changes with that very very soon we don't know what that's going to be. Is it only in a quick map? Nothing is for sure. We just know we see a screenshot with Articuno. So I thought that would be interesting to share. I will keep you updated as soon as I know anything in Pokemon Unite. I love you all. Thank you. I'm going to climb back to master rank here. New challenge for myself coming soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. oh.